What's going on, Flix Talkers? Welcome back to another Dollar Tree DVD and Blu-ray hunting video. If you guys are new to my channel, new to these videos, that's right, physical media for one dollar. I let you guys know that they do have physical media at the Dollar Tree. If you guys don't know what I'm even talking about, keep watching these videos, guys. I'll put a playlist up here and you guys can check out what you can possibly find at your local Dollar Tree. Once again, if you guys are movie collectors for only one dollar. Now, I did get a message, a DM early this morning from my buddy Nigel. Shout out Nigel. I'm going to put his Instagram down in the description below. He does work over at a local Dollar Tree of mine, guys, and he said, hey, I got some stuff coming for you. And I heard that it was coming this weekend, but he is putting it out early. So that's kind of the word on the street, guys, is that they're slowly rolling them out in the next couple of days, the new crop. It usually happens in the third week towards the end of the month for Dollar Trees where they re-up they put out new stock guys or even some old stock from months and months back they get restock reissues and stuff so you guys always got to be constantly checking every week give them a call or just stop by your local dollar tree but enough talking let's go in and if you guys do like videos like this make sure to support the channel by simply hitting that thumbs up to like the video it's the best way to support the channel once again and it does spread these videos out to those that aren't subscribed and if you yourself aren't subscribed consider hitting that subscribe and bell notification down below to always get alerted about future videos like this all right let's go inside my local dollar tree okay so i don't see the weekly wow in the window at all and it doesn't look like they're right there in the front they're the solar lights so they might be in the back and a quick tip guys if they do put out those solar lights in the front most likely they have stuff in the back or they will be putting them out soon all right guys so like my buddy said they just literally put these out so they all look really really nice he put the blu-rays on the bottom too so very very organized in this pet section here so let's go over the first one so we got ninja and ninja 2 with scott atkins oh i love scott atkins double feature martial arts you guys know i'm definitely gonna check that one out we got november man with a slip cover right here blu-ray with digital hd Piers brosnan let me know if you guys have seen this probably an action spy type of film or something we have Astronaut, starring Richard Dreyfuss. Let me know if you guys have seen this one right here. Another Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Sawa, Sawe, maybe? Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Not sure what this one's about at all. Let me know if you guys have checked this one out. This one looks like maybe a foreign release. Another Echo Bridge title. We got a couple copies of this Red Rage. Very, very cool artwork, but not sure what this is about. Maybe a Western or... Another Echo Bridge. You guys let me know if you guys have seen that. We got a couple of DVDs right here in the back. Let me push them up. Keep this store nice the way it was when I came in. We got Monolith, Dragon Kingdom, Love is Blind, Stockholm, Cartel 2045, Coven, Anger of the Dead, The Redwood Massacre, Alien Reign of Man, Jurassic Games. So a lot of things that were here last time, guys. Ooh, this one right here. I've definitely seen a lot of people talk about this one. Ben Affleck, Morgan Freeman. I'm definitely going to check that one out. It's on Blu-ray too. Suburbicon with Matt Damon. This one's really good. I actually caught that on streamer. Oscar Isaac as well. Really good performances. Uh, let's see. A Perfect Plan. Not really sure about this one. William Forsythe. Hmm. Let me know if you guys have checked that one out. Ooh, this one right here. Kiss the Girls, Assy Judd and Morgan Freeman. I don't think I've seen that one either, but I know a lot of people have seen that one. The Bay of Silence. Inheritance with Lily Collins and Simon Pegg. I'm not sure if I showed this one last time, but it's popping up in my local Dollar Tree. We got Dirt. I think I've seen this one here. Yeah, with the slipcover. This one's like a uh, motor cross movie. You got a bunch of those Questar releases, too, from last haul. Oh, you got this Visioneer, Zach Galifianakis. I think I might have caught this on streamer a while back. It was kind of a dry comedy. We got some animated for the kitties. April Fool's Fright, or the grown-up kitties. I was wondering if we were going to get any horror movies coming up, you know, since October is upon us. But it doesn't look like too many. Or if there is any, they've been here for a while. 
All right, and I pulled out a couple that I hadn't seen here. Trust No One right here. Not sure that actor. First Born. Denise Richards, Val Kilmer. Let me know if you guys have seen that. Before I'm Dead. So those are a couple of titles that I did see kind of smashed in there, guys, that I didn't see last time. So I'm going to see if I can keep this nice and neat, like I said, and get to those in the back. Maybe some other ones, maybe. Ambushed. It's like a war movie based on true events. We got this Voodoo Apocalypse. I think I saw this in the last haul in other people's videos. I just didn't see it in mine, but this looks like some kind of grindhouse type of film. Let me know if you guys have seen this one. I've definitely seen this in other people's videos. Killer Tattooist. That's a cool, cool cover right there. See, I always get some cool artwork on these horror movies sometimes, but they're never any good. But not saying that one's not good, but... You know, you guys let me know in the comments below. The Christmas Truce. Okay, so you got another war movie. War movies are very, very heavy in Dollar Tree, I will say that. And there was some more Blu-rays right here shimmied in. So I'm going to pull this stack out and see what I could possibly pick up. The Color of Noise. Huh. Never even heard of this or seen a cover like this. I'm going to have to check that one out. Ah, oh, Cloverfield. I definitely already have that on Blu-ray. And that came out on 4K as well, too. That's a great movie. Oh, Gotti with Travolta. This is like rated one of the worst movies I think of all time or 0% of Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, you got Armored. This one was actually a pretty cool movie from what I remember, but really, really good cast, too. Oh, no, I can't escape the Emoji movie. Yeah, that's here again, guys. And Live By Night. Oh, that's funny. It has a rental on it, so it's a rental copy, even though I did pick this one up a while back without the rental. Uh, Human Capital with Liv Schreiber. Marissa Tomei? Tiff? What? Wow. Okay, Paul Skarsgård. I'm going to check that one out. The Big Ugly, Vinny Jones, Malcolm McDowell, and Ron Perlman. Whoa, what a cast. Let me know if you guys have seen this one right here. Sometimes there's straight-to-DVD releases that are really, really good. Behind You. Maybe a horror movie. Oh, I think I might have shown this in the last one. I'm not sure. Producers of the Gallows. I did not like the Gallows. Run with the Hunted. Another Ron Perlman. This one has a slipcover. Another William Forsythe. So... <laughs> Ron Perlman and William Forsythe are just on the DVD train, huh? And what else? What is this? Fox Trot 6? I always see covers done like in the style of this. Ay, yeah, yeah, cookie cutter. All right, so good news, guys. I did find some physical media, and we'll go over them in a second and let you know my pickups and why I picked them up. And if you guys are following me for the first time, if this is the first time you ever clicked on one of these videos, make sure, once again, you're hitting that playlist. I'll leave it in the description as well so you guys can check out past Dollar Tree pickups because I do like to show only this month's new releases. If I didn't catch them from last month, I will kind of point them out and let you guys know the titles. But if they've been there for a while, I won't go over them. That's why it's imperative you guys click on that playlist to check out the old stock because it might be new in your store or you guys might be getting other new titles this month that I'm not getting. So I would love to hear what you guys are finding in your local Dollar Tree as far as DVDs and Blu-rays go. Leave them in the comments below, but let's go on home and I'm going to show you guys my pickups. All right, guys, so I am back home. So let me show you what I got starting off with a Blu-ray, a special edition Blu-ray plus DVD combo, something I have never heard about. It says a film about an artist, Hayes XXL, and his notorious record label, Amphetamine Reptile Records. So that's kind of a huge, huge tagline right there on the front. It is the color of noise. Now, this one right here seems like a 
Really, really cool documentary. You guys know that I'm really, really into music and I grew up with a lot of music around me. And this one right here talks about like a punk label, I want to say, in its early days. So it says over 50 interviews with the band members, the poster artists, the tastemakers, and the critics edited uh, meticulously with stunning graphics, rare archival footage, and the music that made Amphetamine Reptile Records famous. All right. So I've never even heard of amphetamine reptile records but it deals with punk music something that i did grow up on in the early 90s so really interested to check that one out let me know if you guys have seen that one and that special edition so i don't know how rare it is you know how hard it is to find but god it's a dollar tree for one dollar now next up is a movie that i did see i don't remember where i caught this on but i definitely seen this one it has a huge huge cast so this one is from the year, it's from Sony Pictures, and it's from the year 2009. It is called Armored, and it's exactly what it looks like. So it's a bunch of these guys who decide to rob, and this is the hardest, I'm not saying the hardest thing possible, but these are one of the harder vehicles to rob, guys, an armored truck. And uh, that's kind of, you know, the mission at hand. I won't get into it too much with the spoilers and whatnot, but things go sideways like they always do in these heist type movies but it has a pretty good cast uh from what i remember uh matt dillon gene reno lawrence fishburne skeet ulrich and columbus short this one right here is a pretty good fun action um suspense dramatic type of film uh i remember being like a one and done movie but i would definitely uh it's funny right here at the bottom it says this digital copy code has expired right here but it doesn't even say that it's advertised right here. So it might be on the inside. But uh, that's before they were putting right here digital HD up on top, I guess. But I remember this being a, a pretty good movie. And I kind of wanted to rewatch this. I do like um, I do like Matt Dillon a lot, actually. And Lawrence Fishburne is a great, great actor to me. So, uh, yeah, Armored for $1. Uh, now, the next one is a complete blind buy. But I love some Piers Bronson. I grew up on him, obviously, with Goldeneye and the video game and whatnot. Also featuring Luke Bracey, it is The November Man. Now, this one right here I got with a slipcover. That is awesome because you don't find too many of these at the Dollar Tree. I mean, it's worth it just buying the art for $1 in my eyes. Um, but yeah, I don't know too much about this movie. It just says an action-packed spy thriller set in the ruthless world of international espionage. So, Pierce Brosnan is, he ain't new to this. He's definitely, you know, uh, that character, that 007 guy of espionage and all of this international mayhem going on. So this one looked pretty cool. So you guys let me know. Have you heard of The November Man? And is this one that I'm going to like? All right, guys. The next one up is, uh, man, I'm actually really kind of surprised that they threw something that was a little more, da I mean, this is the early 2000s, but, you know, um, this is a movie that I've never seen at the Dollar Tree, like around this time of these movies happening. But it is Ben Affleck and Morgan Freeman, the sum of all fears. Now, these are two juggernaut names, A-list celebrities, and they're in a Dollar Tree. What is happening? Like, And it's a Blu-ray. So that's fantastic for my benefit, obviously. I got it for $1, a movie that I have never seen. Um, this one I don't know too much about. It says Ben Affleck is ready for action, commanding the role of a CIA agent, Jack Ryan, Oh, wow. I've heard that name, Jack Ryan, in this thrilling adventure based on the Tom Clancy bestseller. OK, that's why I've heard this. OK, um, mobilized into action by CIA director William Cabot, played by Morgan Freeman. OK, so they're working CIA people. Very, very cool. You guys let me know if you guys have checked this one out. Uh, love those actors. Once again, I'm probably going to see that one sooner than later. And next up is a double pack, meaning that I got this film for one dollar and each film for 50 cents each. <laughs> Cannot believe it, but it is starring my guy, Scott Atkins in both of them, Ninja and Ninja 2, Shadow of a Tear, all right? Now, I don't know if these movies are good. I just know that my guy, Scott Atkins, is awesome. Scott Atkins is great. I watch a lot of different, I actually just picked up, uh, last haul I picked up, the Debt Collector, I believe. It's also streaming on Netflix. And that one was a really, really good movie. I watch these movies just because of his martial arts skills. So um, I think he's definitely someone on the come up. And I think he's actually been cast in John Wick 4, I want to say. So he's definitely trying to make that mainstream push. And uh, let me know if these are good movies. Uh, it's an Echo Bridge release, so that doesn't really have 
you know, me too hyped. Usually they release a bunch of crap. So, uh, but two movies, once again, 50 cents each. And it has that BD bin. That's usually what you see in Walmart. So they're probably getting Walmart stock. And yeah, you don't like hearing that noise ever when it comes to these, uh, you know, physical media. That means it's, it's a loose disc uh, flying in there. And uh, almost last, second to last, guys, but probably going to butcher me in these comments. But I love this actor. And I just bought this film based solely on all the bad reviews. It is Travolta in Gotti. All right. <laughs> you guys can make fun of me all you want. I know with this movie, I think at one time or still possibly has a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes as the worst movie ever made. Or it's been on a list of like the worst movies ever made. Vertical put this out. Movie Pass films they started their own company at one time guys i remember i had movie pass when this came out and they were advertising they were really really pushing this movie but it got such bad bad reviews nobody wanted to touch this with a 10-foot pole and hey guess what i got it for one dollar i just want to see what all of the bad hype is about so you guys let me know have you seen Gotti? is it worthy of a zero percent or are people just really going too crazy on that score is it higher than that and uh this is last but not least and it is a dvd pickup and you guys know i don't do dvd pickups but i actually looked this up to see if it was on streaming and they had it available for four dollars so hey rent it for four dollars or buy it for one dollar so um this one has some really really good names Liev schreiber marissa tomei and peter sarsgaard it is human capital and it actually comes with a nice slip cover I'm not used to DVDs the size always being so damn bulky and big, but it is what it is. Uh, it won the TIFF official selection, so that's always good. It's based on the critically acclaimed novel as well. Love these actors involved. Uh, once again, another vertical release. I, I don't know if I mentioned that. Yeah, yeah, these are both vertical releases as well. So good companies uh, along the way and good actors along the way. And it's just pretty much about, it says the two lives of uh, the life, I'm sorry, the lives of two families collide when their children begin a relationship that leads to a tragic accident. So, you know, they kind of allude to some spoilers. Something's going to happen to this, you know, um, the, the, the son and daughter, whoever gets together and the family are going to meet up and something, you know, it's going to be one of those dramatic pieces. It seems like, um, but Peter Sarsgaard, I love him. He's one of my favorite actors of my day, you know, my time. And, uh, you know, I can't wait to really get immersed in this movie, but that, that's, those are my pickups guys. It's about seven of them. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Six of them being Blu-rays, one of them being a DVD. So you guys let me know if you guys found anything cool in this month's drop. This will not be the first video, by the way, for September. I definitely have a couple other Dollar Trees to hit up along the way. So maybe this weekend, I'm going to wait until they roll out officially because the 24th, I want to say, in the next couple of days is their official drop. So we'll see if they do drop more this weekend. But you guys let me know if you guys have seen anything. And if you guys appreciate my video, let me know by liking the video and giving it a thumbs up. It's the best way to support the channel. And it does spread these videos out to those that aren't subscribed. And if you yourself want to subscribe, consider hitting that subscribe and bell notification down below to always get alerted about future videos like this. And hey, guys, Happy fall 2021. I'm so excited. Slasher season is upon us, baby. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Peace.